can even see him fall over. Welcome back everyone. This week we're at Wall Lake. I'm here with William and Chris and then later on uh, Logan came out to see us. Um, unfortunately uh, I kind of messed up the timing with Logan a little bit and um, we didn't get much footage of him. And uh, there was also another thing that happened today. So today I was embracing the full Wugwei. Um, you know, the name of my channel, Wugwei, means uh, turtle. Uh, I couldn't ride properly today because uh, unfortunately that leg issue I mentioned a couple of times in some videos, uh, it happened again. Not like to the severe extent of spasms, but um, I was having the cramps, so I, I couldn't really put any weight on either leg. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but you might realize, well you probably all know, <laughs> you kind of need your legs to be able to ride. Um, so the problem is right now... Uh, the problem right now, I'm trying to hear what I'm saying in the video, but is basically every time I go over a bump, this right now this this clip is from the start of the day. Every time I go over a bump, um, my legs just feel like they're about to cramp, like the inner parts of my thighs where it like goes into your groin real bad. Um, and I've had this situation before. I've gone out riding um, when it's it feels like this kind of thing, and then usually after about like 15 to 30 minutes. Um, when the body's warmed up a little bit, the cr it kind of goes away. <laughs> but today, it just wasn't happening. So I was full on Wugwei mode, and um, I couldn't, I couldn't ride. I just like slid down that hill, and I was like, okay, well, I can, you know, I still have a good time. And then stuff like this happens. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I can't ride properly today. Yeah, I was like, oh Jesus Christ. And now and I'm like, how the hell do I pick up my bike? So that's uh, that's how you don't pick up a bike. I picked up the bike just using complete upper upper body. Don't bend the legs whatsoever. <laughs> not not advised. Strong recommend it. Don't. And then I struggle to even sit back on the bike. I'm like fucking hell. But you know, um, I get a bit of a. Uh, we pop back to the car. I pop some more ibuprofen. I, I have been riding for about half an hour now. I'm starting to get some feeling back in my legs. It's not great. Um, but this is probably the best that I was able to ride all day and even here you can see it's just it's not normal um, the, the biggest problem at, at this point is I can't hit whoops I can't do jumps and I can't wait the pegs <laughs> we're going through a corner so I have to sort of ride the bike through the corner without waiting either of the pegs which is really weird um, I can just about stand up and sit down but the problem is, if I sit down, um, I can't butt shuffle to one side of the seat. So, <laughs> you know, can't, I can't wait the pegs in that, in that way. And if I shuffle to the one side of the seat, like the inner part of my thigh just it feels like you're punching a cramp. So, you know, that's not going to work. And um, when I get up, I can't, you can see it in a few of the clips. I do, it's a little bit weird because I can't just stand up normally. So I have to like lean forwards onto my arms and push myself up. <laughs> so this... This whole video is basically very slow and um, not how you should be riding and not how I like to see myself riding, but I'm doing the best that I can. I I felt super bad for William uh, William coming out. Sorry, I said William. His name is William. It's going to be for him coming out all this way and, you know, um, and then us like not riding properly and I me mean, just being a bit, of a, a bit of a whiny bitch. Um, yeah, it just sucks. It's annoying, it's frustrating, but hopefully it won't happen again. Like, it's been six months since this last happened, and I hope it doesn't happen anytime soon. I, I, I think it's partly, like, so it always happens after I do legs, or ex leg exercise at the gym. It's never, like, just from no reason. If I never do any exercise, I won't have this problem, but if I never do any exercise, probably not a good thing either. Um, and yeah, I think it's because perhaps because like, two weeks ago I fell down the stairs, <laughs> smashed my ass on every seat uh, step going down. That really hurt, and um, my leg, my ass cheek was so bruised I couldn't actually squat. So I took a week off, and like I know a week's not long, but then I went in on my normal stepping of the routine after like what could be considered an injury. So maybe that made it worse, like worse than what it would be if I was just doing my normal routine because usually one week I'll do 80 then 80 kilo and then the next week I'll do 90 kilo and then the next week I'll do 100 kilo and then I just cycle through those three weights really um, and this it was supposed to be the 100 kilo week um, so <laughs> I was like oh well my ass is starting to get a bit better I can actually squat the weight now so it's not a problem so I do my set do everything fine hunky dory and then afterwards I'm like 
I, I say afterwards. It's not normal afterwards. It's three days afterwards. Like usually, you're healing by this point. You're you're kind of on the on the significant side of the remending of this point by this point, but not this not this time. And that's when the, the weird cramp goes in because like my hamstrings don't hurt, my glutes don't hurt, like my hips don't hurt, the hip flexors, none of that. No no problem. It's just the inner part of the thigh that joins into the groin. And it's just really weird. I've been to like doctors. Tons of doctors, blood tests, the, the works. I say I say cramp because it's the easiest thing to relate to, but it's not. It's like a muscle spasm. So like when it when it really fully fires, I can't walk for days. I can look at my leg, and you'll see the muscle like moving like a snake, like how like a snake slides. And when it does that, it then goes like really really red um, or purple. It'll bruise itself because it does so much damage to itself. Um, and like right now, I'm just riding at the edge of not doing that. If there was a big jump or if there's a race or anything i wouldn't even show up because there's just no point so that was my best attempt trying to ride and i was like william go ahead i'll try and follow you right now i'm feeling as good as i can feel but um i i can't ride properly so i can't hit the straights properly i can't hit over the bumps properly <laughs> any jump i'm like immediately slowing down for or like just flipping around but you can see he's got some pretty good pace. He's uh, he's, he's, he's just uh, started racing this year, so he's only done a couple of events. Um, uh, he's a really cool guy. I was gonna say I don't know if you see him. Um, yeah, he's really sound. Uh, I think he rides pretty pretty well for a beginner. Uh, better than I was when I was a beginner. Better than I was when I started in novice. <laughs> Never should have started in novice. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't another class to start in, but details. <laughs> I'm glad they've added the new classes. It makes it so much more friendly for the new people to come along. Um, yeah, it, it, it was... The day itself was absolutely beautiful. Perfect trails. You can see there's not it's not slick whatsoever. The grip was fantastic. Uh, I had an absolute blast. Um, there's just no chance I can keep up. Like I can't, I can't ride properly down here. Like I couldn't put any throttle here. Like just, I'm just cruising. Just like brum, brum, brum. this is it. This is as good as I can go. And my legs are just like ah, screaming the whole way. I can't. Yeah, I can't. There's no chance. <laughs> but next time, next time when we go out, I'll hopefully not be in a sh shitty state and we'll be able to go for a proper ride. Um, so he waited for me at the, at the next stop and, um, and me and Chris and then because this bit was a little faster I get caught out going over some bumps in a bit and it just sets a cramp off in my right leg uh, not a full spasm just a cramp and um, after that I literally just have to sit down and embrace the, the bumpiness as I'm going through the trail for a while and then afterwards um, yeah so I've, I've now just got cramp in my leg so now the pace just falls off as it doesn't go away and it's just it sucks um and but yeah and then later on uh, on the trails there's this really cool like tr tree that had fallen with like almost a perfect ramp of logs that uh william had made it over and i was like oh I'll just go the long way around i i, I don't want to risk it and i roll over perhaps like a three inch tree and i have to then do an immediate hard right turn and i think Maybe my wheel, my rear wheel was on the tree, so I couldn't quite touch the ground. So I step my foot down and step sideways, and that just triggers another cramp. I fall over, and it's it's fucking embarrassing. And I couldn't get up. <laughs> I was just like rolling around on the floor. It so sucks. But whatever. I uh, came got, got up to do some jumps over the rocks, and you can see what happened to a Chris. Well, you can't see what happened because I didn't realise. I thought he was trying to kill me that time. Target fixation. And then the next time through, I didn't, I didn't expect him to crash. <laughs> I see oh, William. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, he hit a tree to the left. Target fixation. Ah, so Logan, Logan turns up. I have no footage of this fella because he is so fast that it's like, okay, let's go, and he's gone. <laughs> but it was really cool to talk to him. Um, there's literally zero chance I was going to be able to keep up. Um, not, not like, right now, I'm in an even worse state than I was when I started. Like, my legs are so bad. Um, but I think even if my legs were bad, there is little to no chance I could keep up because he is absolutely ripping. He's just a noise in the distance. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, was cool to, it was cool to meet him, but shame we couldn't ride a little longer. But that's my fault. Because um, I couldn't check my phone in, enough. 
But yeah, anyway, enough about noise in the distance. I think that'll do for this week. See you.